Today I come to you from the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art. I'll be visiting with Dr. Joe Geist and Denise Haskam, the curator here at the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art in Fayette, Missouri. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Joe Geist of Denise Highest Camp to the Spotlight on the Arts. I'm truly excited to turn the spotlight on both of you today. Good afternoon, Rick. Thank you for coming. Glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Ms. Haskamp, I'd like to start with you. Please share um, with the viewers a little bit about Denise Haskamp, if you're comfortable with uh, sharing your education and what have you. Um, I am the curator of the Ashby Hodge Gallery. It is a position I've held for about nine years. I'm very pleased to say it's been quite a learning experience. I also am a professor here at CMU, something that I've done for 18 years now. I am a local person from Howard County. I was very fortunate to get this job um, when Tom Yancey, who was one of the co-founders of the gallery, when he retired and this position came open, and I was very fortunate as I applied and, and was given the job. So it's, it's been a very delightful experience. So in that regard, I would like to introduce you to Dr. Joe Geist. And um, he was one of the co-founders of the Ashby Hodge Gallery back in 1993. He, along with Professor Tom Yancey, and Joe is now going to explain about how that came about. Thank you, Denise. Uh, very happy to be here on this uh, lovely afternoon uh, in talking about the uh, Ashby Hodge Gallery uh, with uh, Rick in uh, Jeff City. And um, beginning back in 93, as uh, Denise mentioned, uh, we um, started it because a uh, dentist in Pekin, Illinois, by the name of Dr. Uh, Ashby wanted us to uh, uh, receive a tremendous collection of his painting that he uh, had collected over the years in Pekin. And Dr. Ashby, uh, as well as the Hodges, uh, all three of them uh, were graduates from Central Methodist back in the late 1940s. And um, he said he would give us his collection if we would build a gallery surrounding uh, his collection. And so, with uh, many uh, involved in individuals, uh, we then started a gallery. Uh, I was chair of the department and division of humanities at that time, and art was part of the humanities, and that's how I as chair of that division came into this whole particular situation because I was a chair, art was part of it, and I then became the person who had to find the place and start the gallery. And my cohort, uh, Professor Tom Yancey, who was professor in music and art at the time, uh, I asked him to be part of the co-founding of, of the whole institution. Started in 93 uh, with uh, 150 paintings, roughly speaking, coming out of the uh, collection from Dr. Ashby in Illinois. And then we started building and building. Uh, we uh, were uh, in the first floor of the library at that time. It was our first gallery. And then uh, uh, we moved over here, uh, as I say, back in uh, 2012. And when we started the gallery, we moved the gallery from the library to Classic Hall. And the rest is kind of history because we definitely then just expanded over and over again to the point where we now have over a thousand paintings in the collection. Well, Miss Haskamp, uh, if you would, 
um, give us an idea of the mission statement here at Ashby Hodge Gallery of uh, Fine Arts. Certainly. Um, it is, and I quote, the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art is dedicated to broadening the appreciation and availability of American art on the campus of Central Methodist University. Through acquisition, exhibition, and events, the gallery hopes to transform lives and to unite people through the power of art. And that is definitely something we feel very strongly about, is the power of art. We work very hard to reach out to the students on campus, to organizations around Central Missouri. We welcome them at, at any time for um, special tours or during gallery hours. And our shows, our exhibits alternate uh, basically every semester. So typically we have three to four new shows in a year. Um, so we like to keep the interest up. And currently you're celebrating a fall show here yes. at the gallery? We are. Our September show that is up right now is called Art in Autumn. And we have three gallery rooms here in the Ashby Hodge Gallery. And two of the galleries feature works by Columbia College art professors, Bo Bedillion and Naomi Sagino Lear. And the other is uh, from our permanent collection, and they are works from a local couple um, that we call the Holman Collection. And they are, again, part of our permanent collection that will be up for just about another week. And then that is coming down, and we will be putting up another show for a few months um, in, in Gallery 2. Excellent. I wanted to go back and say a little more about what Dr. Ashby had in mind uh, when he uh, gave us this collection. Uh, it focuses on primarily uh, Midwestern art, although there are some still uh, very fine artists uh, throughout America in, in the collection. But he, he focused on Thomas Hart Benton and his own students. And so the, uh, the first focus of the collection was Benton and his students. Uh, and, and believe me, uh, we have probably one of the best collections anywhere of works from his students, uh, along with the works by Benton himself. We have about, I'd say about 10, 15 pieces uh, by Benton in, in the collection. But we also have, as I say, uh, uh, works from uh, many of his, uh, many, many of his other students that make it really outstanding in the primary uh, collection of, of the show, of, of the shows that we've had. Along with that is that just as we have this great artist from the 20th century in American Missouri art, uh, we also have in the collection quite a collection of the great artist from the 19th century, George Caleb Bingham. In fact, if you look right behind me, you'll see our latest uh, gift uh, from Chicago of a portrait uh, by Bingham that is just one of about 15 other paintings, works by Bingham, that, that's also in the, in the permanent collection. Uh, so uh, keep in mind that we really have quite an abundance of work from many artists uh, that are very known people that we, uh, we have in the, in the collection. Reginald Marge, Paul Coyner, uh, Romare Bearden, Paul Cadmus, uh, Fern Coppage, just to mention a few that we have. I wanted to say a little more about the title of our gallery, the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art. And I wanted to say a little more about uh, uh, the other half of that title, the Hodges, in the sense that when I talked about Dr. Ashby, who gave us that huge collection, and then we found a place to start the gallery, but it was a vacant bookstore, is what it was, uh, on the first floor of the uh, of the um, library. But the Hodges, uh, Anna Mae and Bob Hodge, both again <coughs> graduates from Central. Dr. Hodge was a physician, very prominent physician in Kansas City. Uh, in fact, um, uh, he also has his name on one of the parks in Kansas City. The Hodge Park is named after uh, Bob Hodge. And the Hodges, Bob and Mary uh, Anna May, both then, uh, they and their class contributed to the renovation of the bookstore 
in terms of starting that gallery. We, we could not have done that without, because we had, we had no money whatsoever. We, we started from scratch. And so whatever we had in the beginning came from the Hodges and their class uh, that supported the renovation of that bookstore into the gallery. And the Hodges had remained part of us from that day on. They were great benefactors to the gallery at that time and continue to be so uh, until uh, the present moment, so to speak. They, they were part of, part of the, uh, the whole organization and the expansion of the gallery uh, from, from day one. So I think we should give them credit uh, and let them understand, everyone understand that, that um, the Hodges and the Ashby's were really the people that made all this possible. I mentioned earlier about the variations in our exhibits that we typically have three to four new shows every year. I did want to talk about one of my favorite shows, and this was probably 2015, and it was um, called Bandits and Heroes, Poets and Saints. It focused on art from the northeastern section of Brazil. It was sponsored through the Mid-America Arts Alliance with um, all other support through the National Endowment of the Humanities. The show was very vibrant, very dynamic. It took all three gallery rooms. We had sculptures, paintings, there were videos. Um, there were lots of different stations. One station, for example, featured a marketplace, whereas what you, items you might see for sale. Another one was um, a station or sort of a mock-up of a church where we looked at the religious experiences of people in Brazil. Um, again, this live video looking at the history of, of um, Brazil and the, the slave trade and that whole unfortunate history. The sports figures, musicians, and it was very well received. It was just such a fun show to host, and we were very proud of that. And in conjunction with that, we also were fortunate to have a dinner that Dr. Drake, the president, um, featured Brazilian food for a, a specific group of people to enjoy. So we really came full circle. But that show, to me, best exhibits what we try to do at the Ashby Hodge, which is to bring art to people and to central Missouri or wherever people wish to come into our doors. And so that um, was, was really a lot of fun and something that I will always remember. And I'm sure that Dr. Geist has maybe talk, wants to talk about his favorites and or talk about the upcoming shows. Well, every show is my favorite, uh, frankly, uh, because I uh, put uh, my whole heart and soul in the, in that show. So usually, uh, I, I I like every show that we do, and I consider that my favorite show at the time. But uh, let's be uh, truly uh, totally honest here, and say that uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we do have uh, some great shows, uh, and we've done. Uh, shows with Thomas R. Benton's work and George Caleb Bingham's work. We've done uh, several shows in, with both those artists. But another uh, show that we did that was quite, quite popular uh, was the Charles Banks Wilson show. Charles Banks Wilson uh, was kind of like the, uh, the Thomas R. Benton of Oklahoma. And in fact, Benton and, and Wilson were very close friends. And so we have uh, again, going back to Dr. Ashby, uh, he uh, collected quite a, quite a few works. In fact, I'd say between 45 and 50 works by Charles Banks Wilson that we have in our collection, probably one of the biggest Wilson collections anywhere at this time. And uh, we, uh, we did a, a marvelous show with Wilson here in person at the time uh, when before he, before he did uh, die and we had him here and he uh, was uh, part of his of his show when he uh, uh, when he was here in, in the late uh, 1990s when he came. But we do try to uh, have a lot of variety, uh, as uh, Denise mentioned. That Brazilian show was certainly magnificent in every way, shape, or form. 
but we, we try to we try to have photography shows from time to time. We try to have shows with sculpture from time to time. We uh, one time we even had a built quilt show here, and we've had a show uh, with various types of art, uh, not just focusing on painting, but uh, mass media in terms of uh, visual media works. And so we we do try to have a lot of a lot of variety in our shows from time to time. And that's that's important to know and why we keep bringing in uh, new artists uh, to show off various uh, kinds of art uh, in, our, in our collection and in various guest shows. We, we try to have uh, three or four guest shows every year to offer, again, not only variety, but to bring new artists into the Midwest uh, um, point of view. I should mention that we are going to have uh, in the coming months, uh, actually in January, we're going to have a big show uh, called the Ellery uh, Johnson Show. Ellery Johnson again was a graduate from Central back in the uh, uh, in the 50s and he uh, lived in St. Louis as a very prominent artist and his a family have now given us a huge collection of both his sculptures and his paintings, and we will have that uh, in the uh, in the uh, winter show that opens on January the 30th and goes until April the 14th. It will be the big Ellery Johnson show, and then along with that show, we are going to show uh, the Cox collection. The Cox Collection is a group of paintings that came from Bartlesville, Oklahoma, uh, thanks to Glenn Cox, again a graduate from Central, who also was the uh, president of the Board of Trustees, and he uh, has now given us some of his work, uh, which we are going to have on display uh, as part of that new show coming up in, in the winter. And then we will have also a long with those two collections, we are going to have a collection from a, uh, a um, gallery uh, out in uh, Arizona, namely the um, Hartco Gallery, and that is going to give us four great paintings by Thomas Moran that again have come to us as gifts uh, in, in the past uh, two months and they have not been shown yet. Harry Cohen, who used to live in mid-Missouri in, in mid and now has moved to Arizona with his gallery, the Harco Gallery, he has now given us a uh, collection uh, that, uh, of these uh, for Thomas Moran paintings so that we are going to have the Moran collection, the Cox collection, and the Ellery Johns collection all in the upcoming show starting in January, which uh, will be brilliant in many ways. Let us now not just talk about art, but let us look at some art and art in the show that we have up right now. And we're going to go through the three galleries and briefly inform you about right now on the walls of the gallery. Hello fellow artists, entertainers, uh, songwriters, creators, uh, what have you. I come to you on Fan For Me with Rick J Presents, where I interview uh, different artists, musicians, songwriters. Uh, as aforementioned, I have chosen to present my content, my brand if you will, to a worldwide audience because fan for me has no boundaries it's free to sign up and you get paid automatically you don't have to wait for 1000 viewers i encourage you to sign up and uh, research it and join me the biggest stage on earth fan for me
We are Gallery One of the Ashby Hodge Gallery. This gallery features works by Columbia College art professor Naomi Sugino Lear. These are all acrylic on canvas, and the title of our show is Overlooked. As we go and pan around this room, you will get a sense of why she calls it overlooked, because generally, most of these are scenes of places that perhaps we don't often think of as a typical topic or subject for a painting, such as what you see here right to my left, and it's titled Coupled. And this is a scene from an alley in Columbia, Missouri. And you can see these are just two pipes that have been cut off. And also there's this lovely sort of aqua colored uh, wire that runs down. But there is this such a sense of warmth. And the, the subtlety and the patterning and the coloration that she has included in this painting makes it really lovely. And the longer you view and look at her work, I think the more um, entrancing they become. And so this has been a very popular show because again, people stop and look and think, oh, maybe I recognize this place. Or again, yeah, you know, it's true. Why would you, it's not something I normally pay attention to. So we've got some others to look at here as we go around the room. These three on the back wall are all alley scenes. I believe they're titled Alley 2, 3, and 4. These are all from Columbia, Missouri. And for some of you who are familiar with some of the alleyways, like Alley A, where there are restaurants, again, these are scenes where we just typically, on a, a regular basis, might pass through. But these uh, beg of us to stop and pay a bit more attention. As we pan around here, to more of these scenes of alleys and buildings. This piece is from looking down on from a rooftop in Chicago. So again, as I mentioned a while ago, there are many of these scenes are from Columbia, but this happens to be one from Chicago. And again, thinking of the name Overlooked, you can see also besides the fact that we might be overlooking like a gas meter is something uh, worthy of our attention, so to speak. But yet here we see in this scene another uh, way to interpret overlooked because we are looking over, you know, from the, the view of a rooftop. So there are sort of two components as I see it to her t the title of the show. There's another one that I want to end with here that is very, tends to be a very popular piece and it is titled City Mouse. So as you see again, it's these brick wall, the brick wall with these various pipes coming down and a lot of times, practically almost every time someone comes in, they're standing here trying to decide where is the mouse. And they're a lot of times determined that the mouse, one lady said it's here, um, or that perhaps this is the mouse's house. So again, that could be up to our interpretation. However, the artist has said there is no mouse actually in this scene. But the title again of it, City Mouse, lends one to think that, oh, let's look and see if we can't find the mouse. But uh, so again, just another fun example of Lear's artistic work, and um, it, it's been very well received. So again, we are in Gallery One, and this is an example of Naomi Sagino Lear's works, Columbia College Art Professor. Oh, and now we're going to move into Gallery Two, where Dr. Joe Geist will be talking to you and introducing you to the Holman Collection, which is part of our permanent collection here at the Ashby Hodge Gallery.